Hello everyone. And welcome back to AI the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. Jesus, what a name. Of all the names, I would say that is the name of all time. I guess it will be a title. What's the difference between a title and a name? I don't even know. Is there a difference? What is the difference? Oh, we're in the next month. I gotta update the donation goal. I forgot to do that last time. everyone welcome back sorry for my absence I uh or well I was here last what what day is it yes sorry for my absence yesterday I was feeling tired and sick and stuff So what happened on the last session of this? Okay then, let's begin. Oh. The experiment worked! Oh, happy, happy Chicago! Oh, it tells After you. After all, we are living in nothing but a simulation. It gives you like flashbacks. I feel calm when I'm around nature. Your objective is to solve the mystery behind the sudden appearance of Jin's right half. Check your stupid mouth, you third-rate bit part actor! Good. Okay, so yeah, we just did the reconstruction of um, how half a body appeared in a in a TV studio, and we we figured out that it was probably uh, hiding in the ceiling, and when rigor mortis uh, wore off, it it fell down from gravity, like it got loose and it fell, and that's how it appeared. So we are here in the park, and we are heading to. A maid cafe immediately. Good. Good, actually. I'm I'm glad. That's what I wanted. <laughs> this place is still open? I figured with the owner getting murdered in the last game I it would have closed. There he is. Ah shit. Oh, he's got a gun. Damn. Why is he walking in slow motion? Uh, L. <laughs> wow, he dodged his bullet like in the Matrix. What the fuck? How do you do that? That doesn't- that, that's not how humans work. Dude, a bullet goes too fast, you can't dodge it- no, fuck that. Fuck off. <laughs> fuck off with that, man. What is that? Firing your gun in here? Are you insane? Yes. There are customers and staff in here. My bad. An apology is not gonna cut it. <laughs> Sorry, dude. My bad. That's real whoopsie on my part. Several people have called the authorities. The local police should be here soon. Hey, can't you just let me go? What? I told you, my girl's pregnant, right? I can't go to jail. Then why did you shoot a gun at me? That's why I accepted his offer in the first place. His offer? I needed money to take care of my kid. Accepted whose offer? Some guy named Terror. Mm. Mm. That's what it said on. No, it said Frey on the sign. 
but um, the lady from Nizetlaus asked us if we knew any, if we were a terror or something. I don't know his real name. Haven't seen his face or heard his voice either. All my contact with him was through Nile. What did he ask you to do? He said... Oh, I gotta move the sign back up. Uh, sorry, I gotta move the chat back up from where it was in the Final Fantasy stream. Hang on. Get that off the portraits. There you go. Moving that every time is gonna be annoying. I want to bottle your studio for an hour or so on the 10th before you start preparing for the stream. Do not let anyone need a studio during this time, that includes you. All you need to do is keep the entrance unlocked, that's all. I'll pay you 5 million. If everything goes well, I'll pay you the red night on the 11th. So me and the staff haven't met this terror guy at all. Hmm. I don't know what happened in the studio either. I had no idea that was going to happen. I'm the Class 3A at Sekiba High. Get your money down. Class 3A at Sekiba High? Ryuki! Isn't that where, um... Isn't that the school Miyuki goes to? Yeah, let's go! Hi, Jero. Oh. Oh, it's the scientist. The director of Horidori Institute of Genetics, Chikara Horidori. No way. Okay. It can't be. <laughs> Chikara ain't so happy, happy anymore, is he? Uh oh. Oh, you can totally see those leaves are flat from that angle. Mr. Date told me about this shrine. This place is so full of nature. Just like Yoyagi Park. You say that, but there's no grass. <laughs> it's just dirt. It's just... calming here. I see. Tama, would you mind giving me some support? What do you mean? I've been thinking about Chikara's murder. Um... Are you sure you're okay, Ryuki? What do you mean? I feel like all of this has been taking a huge mental toll on you. It did say Tama takes care of his mental health, right? I'm fine. More importantly, can you recreate the crime scene for me? I just need to close my eyes, right? Yeah, but... <sighs> fine. I'll play along. You are technically my master. I can't disobey your orders. Don't say that with that outfit on. Thanks. Uh, let's start then. <laughs> My bad. It's perfect. It's just like the real thing. Well, how is he on the wall? I mean, the other body was just lying on the ground, so that wasn't too hard, but... I learned how to do 3D modeling in a correspondence course. What? Back when I was a student, my grandma told me I should learn a skill set. You were born this year. I'm sorry, Ryuki. This might freak you out, but there's something I have to tell you. Will you hear me out? What? The thing is, this corpse is so cowardly that... Cowardly? It has no guts! What? There's no organs in there? What? <laughs> I know, I know. That was so bad, the joke was over before I even said it. But I just had to do it! I mean, look, the corpse is completely missing its guts! I couldn't let this chance pass me by. Uh, what's the joke? <laughs> The reason the corpse is on the blackboard is because it doesn't have internal organs anymore. The open space inside the body has a lower pressure on the outside. So it's how suction cups work. It's suction cupped onto the blackboard? Ew. What the fuck? Jakar's right side. The cross-section is stuck right onto the blackboard. What's the estimated time of death? 
Based on the time the body was discovered, that would make it about four hours ago. So, around 8 p.m. on February 11th, right around the time we were meeting with Tokiko. I'm tired. Looks like there aren't any other clues here. If, if I don't get a bit more energy as we go, I might make it a short stream. I've been really tired lately, I'm sorry. It's been hard. Well, satisfied? Hmm. What about the security cameras? I checked the footage, but I didn't see anyone suspicious. Of course, that place is huge, so there are plenty of areas the security cameras don't cover. Any cameras on campus? None. Do you remember what Gen said? The security at Sekiba High is completely lacking. Ah, uh, that sucks. I think he was lying about the money. Terror probably wanted someone to find Chikara's body. I've never intended them to pay at all. You mean he wanted Chimpei to find it? I'm sorry, my diction was terrible there. He was never intending to pay at all. Not necessarily. Jesus. Terror might have predicted that someone from the police would contact Chimpei. That's my assumption. I can't think of any other suspects. Just who is this Terror? I wouldn't be having so much trouble if I knew that. It can't be Tokiko, can it? She's the one person we know who has an alibi right now, Ryuki. Tokiko was with me at Chikara's time of death. Why even bring her up? And she was in Okinawa during the incident with Jin. Yeah, at the very least, it seems unlikely that she did it personally. But something has been bothering me. I feel like Tokiko is involved somehow. Chikara was a member of Nice, and he knew about Bats 490. That's not all. The appearance of Jin's corpse was made to seem like a paranormal phenomenon, as if the same thing from the Philadelphia experiment had happened. After all, we are living in nothing but a simulation. A false world created by a program. Could she have done all this to give her claim credibility? That'd be a really stupid way to do it. I don't know, but it's possible. In any case, let's go see Tokiko. Right, I did mention a cloning a lot in the last session, um, but that was specifically in reference to how there were two of the same body with different times of death. Like I, I said that could be explained by cloning, but as far as we know there's no second Chikara, so there's no reason to suspect a clone there yet. I have to talk to her. Understood. We've come this far. I'll back you up until you're satisfied. Oh, I'm backed up, all right. I've been expecting you. I thought you would be arriving soon. What do you mean? I mean, I knew you would come see me. Why do you cover your eye with hair? Can you see like that? Like, I know it's like a trendy thing to do, but how do people see like that, honestly? No, I don't. Then do you know about Terror? I've heard that name on the news, yes. On the news? This is about the culprit, is it not? Yes, but... I have absolutely no idea who it could be. I'm sorry I can't help you, but... I've solved the mystery, Miss Shigure. Jin's right half didn't teleport. It was just made to seem that way. It should have been obvious when you think about it. Teleportation? It's impossible. Yeah, almost as impossible as swapping minds or some shit like that. We live in a simulation? This is a fake world created by a program? Impossible. Simulation theory is nothing but occult nonsense. Just a ludicrous myth like UFOs, ghosts, and Kappa. I knew a guy who actually believed in simulation theory and would like never shut up about it. It's annoying. I'm sure there are people who'd like to believe in these things. And there are groups who profit by making people believe. Mr. Ryuki, it appears as though there's been some misunderstanding. We of Nyes have nothing to do with this. Are you sure about that? You're here in the video game, so I assume you have something to do with something. All the pieces would fit together if Nyes is the one that made the QR video. The falsified paranormal phenomenon. 
what was written on the signboard. It all advances your agenda. Could it be that you wanted to spread the QR video by showing that sign along with the corpse on stream? As I've told you, we are not the ones who made the QR video. Why should I believe you, exactly? What is the purpose of the QR video in the first place? I don't know. It, it gave Ryuki a headache and he started seeing the code. Are you saying there is some message urging people to join Nyes in it? Maybe. Who knows? Subliminal messaging? Um, strobe lights? Whatever. This stuff can do weird shit. I know of the incident, of course. However... Yes, I know you have an alibi. We were here, having a conversation during the time of Chikara Horidori's death. But that doesn't necessarily mean you're completely innocent. You are the president of Nyes. Surely you have plenty of subordinates who can do your bidding. Are you implying I ordered someone to kill him? Well, yeah. <laughs> it's a possibility. And what would be my motive? Uh, wrapping up loose ends? I mean, he led us to you. Um, well... Remember what Tokiko said. Chikara Horidori is an avid believer in the Order of Percent. Their order and Nyes are heading in completely different directions. Well then, you got him out of the way to advance your agenda. Perhaps Nyes and the Order of Percent are hostile. I see. You're suggesting there was a conflict between organizations. It is true that Nyes and the Order of Percent have differing beliefs. Is it necessary to put the symbol there and not just write out the word percent? Why would you just write out the word percent? However, we are not at odds with one another. Both organizations believe in the simulation theory. Oh? In that respect, we are comrades. Where do you differ then? We are living in a simulation. A false world. See, I wanna make fun of her, but she is in a video game, so I can't exactly fault her. <laughs> Like, she, she is the one person who has the right to make that claim. And from this false world, we seek emancipation. That is what Nyes believes. On the other hand, the Order of Percent, we are living in a simulation. A false world. What? But they wish to remain imprisoned within it. Forever. Okay. Forever? Mr. Ryuki, have you ever played an open world game where you play as a criminal? I guess Assassin's Creed, like I'm being murdering as a criminal activity. A game that lets you rob, murder, blow things up, leave a trail of debris wherever you go. Okay, they were talking more specifically about GTA. An absurd, heinous game where you can freely commit all sorts of horrible crimes. Yeah, that's cheat. Okay. I've never played anything like that, but I know what you mean. Ryuki does not play GTA. Then you can understand. If this is a false world created by someone, then the Order of Percent believe they can do whatever they wish. Okay, you're saying the world is fake and therefore morality is fake. But that's stupid, because actions have consequences. Even if it's a fake world, there's fake police that will throw you in fake jail, so what's your point? To them, this place is a true utopia. A dream world where they're allowed to do anything they want with no real consequences. Until you wake up in a cell? <laughs> That's fucking stupid. That's why they want to live here forever? Exactly. That's dumb. I get it. That's why Chikara was researching immortality. In theory, using purge, even immortality is achievable. That's solipsism? I don't know that word, sorry. The ultimate dream that humanity has been yearning for, for thousands of years. It will soon become a reality. Sucking your own dick. What do you think? Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> they called me a madman. They said it couldn't be done. I am aware that Chikara was very particular about immortality. However, I will say one thing. One must not believe in eternal youth. Eternal youth is a lie. Okay. By the way, Mr. Ryuki, do you remember what you said earlier? I'm trying to figure out her outfit. Is she wearing like a... Is that like a collar around her neck? Or is it like keeping her jumper in place? Or... I don't know what I'm looking at. Simulation theory is nothing but occult nonsense. Yes. That is clearly false. Oh? The simulation theory is not occult. It falls within the realm of science. Science fiction, maybe. In fact, 
Many esteemed scientists have given serious thought to the matter. Yeah, in the same way they give serious thought about whether you can turn people into dinosaurs. The theory was originally no. proposed by a Swedish philosopher. However, the concept has been around since long ago. Even as far back as the days of Plato and Zwang Se. And they were stupid and wrong back then too. This world may be an illusion. At least, there is no way to prove it isn't an illusion. There are great people throughout history who have held such ideas. But there's no way to prove it is an illusion either, is- No, there is plenty of science to support it. The holographic principle, theory of relativity, the measurement problem in quantum theory can also be considered proof. Okay, you're, you're going over my head now. Oh. I'd like to ask you one thing. Beings that are far more intelligent and advanced than we humans. Do you believe a civilization of such beings exists anywhere in this world? In this world, no. In space, maybe. And by this world, I mean all possible worlds in the entire universe. Well, see, so you should have specified it then. Why did you say this world if you didn't just mean this world? Well, somewhere out there, probably. I agree. Taking that into consideration, we're left with three possibilities. One. Civilization hasn't reached a level of technology advanced enough to create a simulation that can't be distinguished from reality. Uh -huh. Two, civilization has reached a level of technology advanced enough to accomplish this, but it hasn't for some reason. Three, civilization has reached that level of technology and has no strong reason not to use it. Therefore, they've proceeded with creating an intricate simulation. See so what I... I read somewhere that the universe is actually pretty long on an intergalactic. The universe is actually pretty young on intergalactic scale, so it's possible that humans are just like the first sentient species in the in the universe. So the only reason we haven't contacted aliens yet is because we're the first ones here. Uh, I don't know, but I don't know if that's true. Um, but that would go to some way in explaining why we haven't met anybody yet. Um, and that would imply that there are no species that are more advanced and therefore it can't be which of these do you think is most likely are you saying it's three that is what a famous swedish philosopher believed at least he further explains that civilization must have run simulations millions or even trillions of times i mean the circumstances that created sentient life are so incredibly rare and coincidental that it's very possible we're simply the first ones to arrive which I don't think sounds that weird, I just think that sounds pretty logical considering how fucking wild it is that humans even exist. So, the chance of it happening again on another planet that's both nearby and within our lifetimes is unrealistic at best. In which case, it would make sense to believe our world would be included in one of those simulations. You're saying it's far more likely that we're one of the countless simulated worlds rather than a world that exists in the one and only reality. Do I have that right? Yes. No, nah, stupid. <laughs> the simulation in the real world may be a simulation itself, kind of like a Matryoshka doll. And sing a, 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 what the fuck? What the hell? Okay. I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> Even light cannot escape a black hole. I'm sure you've heard this before. Information is the same. It cannot escape a black hole. What the fuck are you talking about? It's known that the amount of information trapped in this way is not derived from the volume of the black hole, but the surface area. <laughs> Considering this, you can conclude that information in a three-dimensional space is stored in the boundary of its two-dimensional surface. Early stream start? No, I was like... I was like half an hour late, what are you talking about? It's eight here, I start at seven usually. What are you... what? Did daylight savings kick in? And I wasn't told? Hmm. In other words, all information stored in this universe is encoded in a single flat plane. 
just like a hologram. Regarding gravity and other physical processes, they can be completely accounted for through the laws of physics defined by the boundary surface. The schedule with you to my about page said stream was scheduled for six minutes ago. The daylight saving click in in my country and not in America or something like that? I don't know. Let's take a character from an action game, for example. Okay. When that character falls, you may think he was pulled to the ground by gravity. Look, look at Offman Mario here with this square hat. However, gravity does not actually exist in the game world. Only code that was written in the program. I mean, artificial physics is still physics, so I don't really get your point. The character's body is merely made to show as if it fell based on its code. But it did fall. It went down on the Z-axis, which is falling. You think this world is the same? The holographic principle is not a theory. It is a principle. What does that mean? It has already been mathematically proven. What does that mean? What are you talking about? Say this world really is a simulation, then that would mean a computer or something that's running the simulation exists somewhere, right? But it doesn't seem realistic that everything that happens in the universe could be derived by calculation. Yes, you are right. However, there is no need to calculate every phenomenon, only what observers see and experience. Oh, you're saying if I turn around now, there's nothing behind me? Take the measurement problem in quantum theory. It explains the inexplicable phenomenon observed in the double slit experiment. Huh? Quantum matter appears as particles when observed, and as waves when not observed. For the latter, its position cannot Demi -pyro be specified Demi -pyro because pet. it exists Demi -pyro as a stochastic Demi -pyro wave. Pet. Demi -pyro love Demi -pyro pet. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, thank you for subscribing, Sleepy. 30 months, that's... That's like two and a half years or more. I don't... I don't know. I'm not good at math. I don't know. I'm cold. Therefore, it must be calculated and processed as the entire wave and is impossible to reduce. The faster an object moves, or as the effects of gravity increase, along with the increase in mass, time progresses slower, as I'm sure you know. Ah, uh, sure, man. And that's related to processing speed? Yes. When the load during calculation is increased, a phenomenon akin to a processing failure occurs. That is why nothing can exceed the speed of light. <laughs> <laughs> because of a computer error? You're so full of shit. The calculation wouldn't be able to catch up if acceleration is infinite. You're so stupid. What? Yeah, I don't care. It's a nice watch. I see. Then let us leave it at that. <laughs> In any case, there is no denying that the simulation theory is true. Uh, no, I'll deny it right now. It's dumb bullshit. But unlike Chikara, I have no interest in the concept of immortality. Because my objective is to tear at the seams of this world and emancipate us all. Alright, do it then. Kill me. So you mean die? No. Death and emancipation are completely different. I have no desire to commit suicide, though I would be fine with dying at any time. Because this world isn't real. There is that, yes. You fucking idiot. Do I need to explain Plato's allegory of the cave to you? However, there is another reason. Uh. If I wish to do so, I can resurrect myself. We are living in a false world created by a program. Huh? Therefore, if we can rewrite its code, we can create miracles. What the fuck are you talking about? Like reincarnation, or even... What happened to your eyes? Bringing someone who has already passed back to life. You gonna call in Chikara right now? Oh. Has this woman lost it? Oh, she lost it, eh, long ago. Mm. 
Ryuki, you were right. There's clearly a lot of reasons to be suspicious of Tokiko. Yeah. Let's check with Wing Sync. Just gonna see a bunch of... If you Wing Sync her, you're just gonna see a, a, a bunch of clips of her watching the Matrix over and over and over. Alright. Fucking do the, the thing. I know enough about quantum physics to know exactly what's wrong with each of her arguments, and they are very stupid. <laughs> Thank you for that, Archmage. Thank you for subscribing. If you don't do as I say, I'm sure you know where this is going. What? What is this? I could fix her. Looks like Tokiko is blackmailing someone. What is it she saw? I don't know. This is as far as we can get through Wink Sync. Then... Yes, let's get a deeper look into her mind, using a regular sink. Let's kidnap her. Right now. It's surprisingly easy to get people into that machine. Thank you for the gifts of sleeping. Ryuki, just to confirm, you did get permission. Right? Nah. Yes, she accompanied me voluntarily and... No, I met from Boss. I haven't seen Boss. She wasn't in the control room. How? You don't see anything I don't see, Emma. It's fine. I'll be sure to talk to her later. Hmm. I don't think this is a good idea. Besides, you don't look so good, Ryuki. I'm fine. So please, I need more leads to solve this case. But you... So I haven't really noticed this before. What is up with the like the little gloves Ryuki's wearing? Are those from his jumper? Is he like wearing the same? Is he like have sweater sweater gloves? What the? F I don't know what I'm looking at. Oh, fine. I'll help you for now, but I won't be held responsible. Deal? No, that's not how it works. You're the scientist here. Look, Ryuki, please just don't cause any problems. You can only stay in uh -huh. for six, uh, six minutes. Six minutes? Yeah, okay. I absolutely need you to follow this rule. Yes, understood. Okay, then. Let's begin. You know, fucking with your brain in this way, it seems like I can't be good in the long run, right? Look at all those JPEG artifacts on this pre-rendered cutscene. Okay. Not a fan of color. I wonder if this is the nice president's room. <laughs> it's really white though. Let's make an acronym poem with the letters for nice. What? Where the hell is this coming from? N! Okay, okay. N! N! Not that I know why. A! A, A, A. Angry! I! I... I... Incoming? X! Shingu River Ray! What the fuck was that? Not that I know why. Angry incoming Shingu River Ray. The Shingu River, eh? Such a kind animal. Angered by humans polluting waterways, I guess. What the fuck? Somnium scan, activate! Really wish Tama wore shoes. Or like anything else, really. Not a fan of Tama's design. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> Yeah, Iva doesn't wear shoes either, but like I feel like it's less noticeable with her. Like, the, the camera doesn't focus it on, on it as much, <laughs> or something. Staring at Tokyo Goes Abyss. Thank you for the five gift subs. Wait, how did I get here? Thank you very much. This is such a quiet place. So empty and blank. Maybe that's Tokiko's mental state. Pretty eccentric. Hopefully we can find something here. Looks like we can only interact with that ripped up book. Right. Let's investigate. I love ripped up book. 
Find the seam. A book of nice teachings. Why is it ripped in half? Maybe because the other half went to order of percent? Does it say anything? Yeah, just one phrase. Are you guys hearing that high note, or is that tinnitus? <laughs> is that in the game? Oh, that's in the game? Okay. okay. <laughs> the intersection between the warp and weft. The rest is ripped off. I remember Tokiko saying something like that. The intersection between the warp and weft, that's where the seam can occur. Oh, that's gonna right. annoy me. I wonder what she meant by that. Who knows? Why don't you join Nice to find out? Anyway, that's about all that we can get from this book. Hang on, I see that. That's... Got it. When did this get here? This wasn't here earlier. What does it say? That's where the scene can occur. Combining it with the book from earlier, the intersection between the warp and weft, that's where the scene can occur. I still don't know what warp and weft means. Never heard the word weft, weft before. And I don't understand how the word warp fits here. That's exactly what Tokiko said. If it's coming out in her Somnium, it must hold some significance. That's just what we saw in the Wink Sink. She is standing perfectly still. What was that? Oh! <laughs> okay. Love what you've done with the place. The, the Feng Shui is great. <laughs> Hang on, it's, hey, we know that guy. That's the restaurant owner. How's the restaurant owner involved? Sungwon, no! Hello, Emily. I'm Hugh. Hugh? You're Hugh? Thank you for subscribing. SKG Hardos, 25 months. Thank you very much. The high tier is level 3, can we get to level 4? I'd be very, I can't uh, very, really make out what very happened, mid, though. It's the word. I did grateful. see Gen, I think. Fuck. It was just I can't really speak chaotic. today. I think you were following Darkened Zone. Maybe the key to solving this Somnium has to do with what we found in the Nice book. The intersection between the warp and weft, that's where the scene can occur. That will help us? Well, thank you for the five gifts, up Sleepy. I don't know about that. Thank I don't you, see how that will help us right now. I don't think it's completely unrelated, but... The next suspicious thing is... Uh, I'd say the River of Blood. Do you see anything? Mmm, not really. Is that... What's down there? Is that the same room again? Seems a lot deeper. It was pretty shallow earlier. Let's dive in! What? Dive? Here? Yeah! Where else would I be talking about? But it's really deep. And Red, what if there's an angry Shingu River Ray in there? I don't know what a Shingu River Ray is. Enough with the complaining. You don't even need to breathe. It'll be fine. Go for it. Fine. Why do you always gain this weird confidence during sinks? Huh. Didn't even give me an option not to. Can I... Okay, how do I go down? Uh, descend. Okay. I'm descending. It's the same room again, like surprising. I said. All of a sudden, we're out of the water. We fell from up there. But we ended up in the same room. Oh, look! The book again. Let's check it out. This is pretty linear so far compared to the the sinks from the first game. I mean, this they're all linear, rich. but there's not many options. Just another single phrase. Where the black light gathers, sadness is born. Black light? Where the black light gathers. 
Don't gather too much black light or you see things you don't want to see. Whoa, skulls? Why is Tokiko thinking about this? Hmm? Wait, I sense something. Ah! <laughs> what is this thing? Ah! Huh. You're not doing anything. With this and the skulls, this is getting really creepy all of a sudden. I've always wanted to be able to scream really high like Maybe girl. that's the black. Hmm. I don't know how people do it. Let's just search the room for now. Yeah. If we can't find anything, we'll reread the book and think through our options again. Okay, a lot of skulls. A lot of skulls. With a black light gathers. Hmm. Black light gathers. They all look identical to me. This one is bigger and misshapen. Oh. What? Again? Sangwon? He looks like he's in pain. Why? The statue? Huh? I went for the first skull that wasn't in the light, like from the window. Disappeared. I wonder what the relationship between Tokiko and Gen is. What was that? Ryuki, you okay? Oh, yeah. Looks like the book was the hint. Where the black light gathers, sadness is born. After the sink, we need to ask Tokiko about Gen. Did I do the right? Did I guess the solution? Or I, I guess I did. As far as we know, Tokyo again isn't dead. Like, that's the kid, isn't it? Hey. Did you see that? It became Shoma for a split second. Maybe Tokiko is related to him as well. Do, although all these people know each other. Why Shoma? Tama, make chase! Throw yourself in the water! Oh no, there was an Easter egg behind the chair that I want to interact with. You make it sound like I'm committing suicide. <sighs> okay, here we go. Yeah, it, is, it was the autistic kid. Don't even give me a choice not to jump in the water. At least the river isn't blood this time. Oh. It's the same room again. But this time, the room itself is underwater too. What does that symbolize? She drowning in her responsibilities, in her philosophy? Uh, if this is the same as earlier, there has to be something related to Shoma. Oh, she's soon faced. Ryuki, you have five minutes remaining. Yeah. Is this it's hard to move in this. Uh, no, no. Is there a current? Oh, there is a current. It says, where the water and ideas flow, love is born. More metaphors, huh? The water and ideas, so in the current? It must be some kind of hint, like last time. Oh, it's the, the funny hand symbol. It's a hand. And this. The Nanyupal X symbol. I remember Tokiko mentioning it. I'm curious about the water and ideas flow part. Anyway, let's check inside. Yeah, if we get stuck, we can read the hint again and figure it out. Hmm. The water and ideas flow. I should follow the current and see which one it leads to. This one. How should I check? A uh, high five? When in Rome. How about making the same hand sign? It lit up. 
This world is a lie. Do you understand? We are in a dream in a video game, so... Was that Tokiko's voice? It sounded like she was talking to someone. I figured it out. Because I'm smart. Um, still don't know what to do, though. <laughs> But they didn't really solve anything. Hmm. The, is there a second current somewhere? This one. Too bright. It's silent. You will follow my orders. Tokiko's voice again. I wonder who she's talking to. She can't be talking to herself. I am progressing. I am progressing here. The current is changing. Each one leads to a new current. It's new. It's a certain order. Let's transcend this world together. Wait. She must be talking to... Ryuki, look! Outside the window! Who? Shoma? Shoma? Shoma's a bit young to be joining a cult. Didn't you get bigger? Oh, he's, oh, he's really big. Oh, he's really big. Uh... What's going on? Oh, and he's small again. Are they... Can... Related? I mean... So she does have a relationship with Shoma. Maybe what we heard earlier was for Shoma too. Love is born. Let's think about it later. Look at that. Oh. I... <laughs> It looks painful. I have a bad feeling about this. Follow it. I'm not sure they specified who Shoma's mother was. No, it doesn't say. Shoma and, uh, yeah, we just know his, his father's name, so we don't know his mother's name. Maybe, maybe she's the mother. We only know they divorced some time ago, and that could be, uh... And I, I, mm, I don't think, they don't seem very compatible to me, so... Maybe. Four minutes remaining. Same room, but sideways this time? What the hell does that signify? It's the same room again, but vertical? This is really messing with my sense of balance. How far does this room even go? Another book. Hopefully this is the last. You know, I don't trust any organization that has a book. I was like, it says, mm. when the eyes are met, death is born. Death? Tokiko is getting more and more suspicious. Maybe our focus should be on knives. Um, eyeball? The book and an eyeball. Do you think that's what is meant by eyes are met? Maybe it's talking about me. What? You are an eyeball, Tama. Why don't you lock eyes with it? Are you trying to kill me? It said death is born. Then when the eyes are met is... The eyes are... Maybe it's where both the eyes are looking at? I'm not really both looking at anything. Oh, this is really hard to deal with.
Which one of these are the eyes looking at? This one? The red book. This book is closed. Uh, open that shit up, I guess. I'm gonna open it. There are eye symbols on the left and right pages. That's it? Yep, that's it. It might be related to, when the eyes are met, death is born. Tokyo has lost Wulu and her mind resides completely within Bull. I mean, nobody's looking straight at this book, right? This one, however, isn't looking at... Hmm. A big eyeball. Like I said, that old woman is crazy. So what's it gonna be? Can I turn it? And spin. I set the eyes to face each other. I see. You have three minutes left. Get it together, Ryuki. Okay. A closed. I guess I flip this one too. An eyeball. Is this what eyes meeting means? Open. There are two eyes. Hmm. Ryuki, if you're stuck. Uh. What if I close this one? Ryuki, it's a red oh, the eyes, the, I close the book so the Be eyes careful. touch each other, it so they meet. It's close the book. Got it. I'm a genius. <laughs> This should do it. Alright, so the other oh, close that book too. A red book. Got it. Right, meeting a bunch of lasers that meet in the middle. So, did we make the eyes meet? Seems like it. Is it warning death? Book. A new book. When the eyes are met, death is born. Death. Tama, let's check that out too. Yuki. It's a new book of nice teachings. This time, it's closed. Hmm. Huh? A mirror? Hmm. 
Uma and symbol again. Oh. I was never good at analyzing symbolism. I failed art class because of that shit. Okay. What was that? So many people. What is Tokiko thinking? I don't know. <laughs> Well, jump in the hole. Uh, so you want me to dive in again? Tama, go! Okay. Hey. Uh. <sighs> I thought I was gonna fall forever. You got some balls, Tama. Thanks. <laughs> sure. But there's nothing here. Doesn't look like we can learn anything here. I can see a round shadow in the background. Hmm? That's... Over there. You have less than a minute left. Hurry! Eyeball! Hey, it's too high. I can't reach it. That's annoying. At the end of an incomplete world, truth is born. Oh. If this is symbolizing something, I don't get it. Uh <laughs> That's Nanya Black. There's something there. Let's go. Oh boy. Running out of time. Ryuki, you're out of time. Shit. Motherfucker. Damn it. It's ah. enough time, Ryuki. Huh? Already? We haven't even gotten close to the truth. Chokiko. Shit. Okay. Um So she does have a maybe love Okay, I, I know I know what to do. I know what to do. Get this. Go down there. Gotta dive slowly. Four minutes remaining. Thanks, Pewter. So what? Okay. Hey. 
Close the books. It's a red. It has. It's. And the unfortunate thing is that it has a negative tummy on it. God. Let me check which of these has the least time, and I use a negative tummy on that. You have three minutes left. This. Get it together, Ryuki. Fuck off. A red. It. At least now I only have positive timings, so I can use those on the next things. It's an uh Damn, there's a times nine on that? That's annoying. Anything to interact with that I can dim that times nine on? I don't see anything. And there's nothing. It just screws you over with the times nine. Assholes. Ryuki! Less than two minutes left. Yeah, I'm going. Be careful. I'm going, okay? I'm going. Let me interact already. God, it's big. It's way you bigger than I thought. Than a minute left. God Hurry. damn. Jesus. Jesus, it's so far away. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to open it. Is it some kind of planning sheet? It says Nirvana Initiative. Well, there's a title drop. The Nirvana Initiative. As in no transcend the world. Out. Nirvana as in reach the better world beyond this one. Come on, isn't there anything else? Ryuki, we're almost out of time. Wait, try reading more of it. Pewter, please. Okay, well that was something. Yeah, I, I got I got the bonus for uh for for doing it within the time limit. Miss Shigure, I've taken a look inside your mind. Still some major ethical issues with this machine, just saying. Using this machine. Do you know someone named Gen Ishiogane? He appeared in your dream. I'm not saying anything. Shoma Enda, I know you know about him. Can you tell me about your relationship with him? Do they look similar? They got the same mouth and nose, I guess, but that's the same as just an anime game. The Nirvana Initiative. Is it some sort of plan? Not saying shit.
<laughs> that dog. Trying to work here. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I need to do something. Maybe it's a little less audible now, but it might get really hot in here. No, it's still audible. You don't have to explain. The images shown in Somnium are all displayed here in the control room. Tokiko Shigure is not a suspect. We can't detain her without clear grounds to do so. So we have to release her. I guess we have no choice. Oh, I missed some dialogue there. It seems you have many questions for me. But I apologize. I'm afraid I have prior engagements. Could you please visit me at my office again at 10 o'clock tonight? So you can murder me? I would be happy to share more information with you then. Now. If you'll excuse me. That dog is still going at it. Wait, where's Pewter? He went to see Tokiko off. I see. So, what do I do now? Figure that out yourself. I asked to type me up in tortoise shell rope finding. Go eat pancake. Become a major league ball player. We already did that yesterday. No more for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Come on, just a little bit. Good. You think this is a damn joke? Don't make me sentence you to a panting. What is exactly is a pantying? What? What is that? She's not gonna explain. I know. I'll become a major leaguer. Yeah, good luck with that. In that Somnium earlier, Gen appeared. And Shoma did too. So Tokiko definitely knows them. And yet... Could you please visit me at my office again at 10 o'clock tonight? <laughs> Tama. What time is it now? A little past 1300. We have almost nine whole hours until the appointed time. Don't you mean nice whole hour? Okay. Anyway, let's talk to Gen and Shoma. Where are they now? Mm, well, I can't track down either of them. Either their phones are out of battery, their GPS is off, or they're somewhere without any signal. Then we'll have to take a guess. Maybe Shoma is at school. No, he hasn't been there in a while. He hasn't been going to school? It seems not. Hmm. Well, I'll get to that later. So then Shoma must be at home. Or... Yes, yes. he really he loves, loves this Ferris, Ferris wheel, too. too. At the rooftop amusement park at Misatan. Gen is probably at his restaurant, or the warehouse district at the port. I'm sorry, the amusement park is on a roof? That doesn't seem safe. He once told me he loves the warehouse district, and that he goes there all the time to look at the sea. So we have four destinations to check. Let's get moving. Right. Shoma. The director of Horidori Institute, Chikara Horidori, was killed. Did you know about that? Why are you asking me? Well, he was just at home, so why even mention the Ferris wheel then? Of course I know. A killer calling himself Terror did it. But he hasn't been caught yet. 
That's why I want you to help me. Help me uncover Terror's identity. Oh. I'm sorry, did I see like a purple thing? What the hell is that? It's an Atta Rooster doll. Atta Rooster. Okay. The kitchen is lewd, don't you think? Huh? How? <laughs> okay. Ryuki, there's Moraimon inside the closet! Yeah, okay. What the fuck? So cute! I'm cuter. What are you getting jealous for? Whew, this really takes me back. I remember playing with drawers when I was young. I would make stairs out of them and climb up. Tama, you don't... you didn't have a childhood. Are you sure you're an AI? She keeps talking about her past as if she has one? That's weird. Okay, question for you. What do you get when you change the D's and Diddy to T's? Uh... Diddy? Oh, come on. Say it! <laughs> the hell? What's this thing? Oh. The family elder probably means the mother's dead, huh? It's a picture of Ame no Uzume. The goddess of entertainment and laughter. A long, long time ago, when Amaterasu Omikami hid in the cave of Amano Iwato, the world was covered in darkness. Troubled, the gods had a meeting and decided to have Amano Uzume dance for them. And so, Uzume dropped her hips down low and danced her butt off. Her breasts swinging this way and that. I don't think that's how other people would tell that story. Then, the gods burst out into laughter. Amaterasu, who was hiding in the cave, said, Huh? What's going on? <sighs> Those people outside are partying it up! Oh, I'm tired. Man, I gotta get out there! <laughs> that, is, that is a cute time of face. That is a new time of face we have not seen before. Amaterasu quietly opened the cave and peeked outside. She was then yanked out from hiding, and light returned to the world. Uzume is kind of amazing. Ugh, a true soul of a comedian. This is why she's known as the goddess of entertainment and laughter. God, I wish I was the goddess of entertainment and laughter. <sighs> One day. Hmm, I can wing sink him. Why? Whoa, thank you, Sambo, for the 50 euros. Thank you very much. That's groceries money. Thank you very much. My phone turned off. Why? Because there was no reason to turn it on. I heard you haven't been going to school. If you don't mind, could you tell me why? <laughs> I do mind, but can't you tell? I'm all alone, just like that Jin person. Jin? Jin? I read about it online. What? He had been sick for a long time. Are you sick? I don't know what his condition is called or whatever, but it was some sort of chronic disease. He was sick since he was young. Stayed in the hospital for a long time, didn't have any friends. According to the article, he took his classes from the hospital. I felt bad for him. One is lonely enough as it is, but he's only one half. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm sorry, but please don't ask about my dad. I don't want to be reminded of him. Huh. What are you reading? Probably porn. Tama. It's a book about robotics. Ha! You see? What? That's not pornographic at all. But think about it. All the pistons and the lubricants and the shafts. Okay, you got me on pistons and shafts, but what robot contains lubricants? Okay... You see what I'm saying? What? Sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. Huh? What does that mean? What? Tokiko. Tokiko Shigure. I think you might know her. Then what about Nice? Tokiko is the president of Nice. 
Why does that matter? It matters. Terra is definitely related to the QR video. There's a high probability that the video was made by Tokiko, who's the president of Nice. So what? Leave me alone. Please. I just want to be left alone. Hmm. I don't know much about that video. I barely even watched it. I only know about Bats 490. That reminds me. You haven't told me the details of Bats 490 yet. The rumor is, people who decoded that video message have gone missing. But they all left behind the same clue. I've learned the secret of the world. I mean, I figured that was just that they joined Nice. Like, they just leave. I guess just because they joined Nice was mean disappear. But you haven't disappeared. Mm. Why? Don't ask me. All I did was decrypt the code. I didn't go anywhere. The only thing I know for sure is that Bats 490 is an ARG. It's just a game, but... The Nirvana Trial, on the other hand... The what now? Nirvana Trial? That's new. What is that? It's a video that's been going viral. It was uploaded to ViewCube first. And then it blew up from there. This is before or after the murders? A bunch of people who watched it have gone missing. Ryuki, I found the video. Do you want to see it? Sure. No, I'll watch it later. What? This is more important right now. Um, just so I have the facts straight. This is completely different from the QR video and Bats 490, right? I already told you, Bats 490 is just a game. Uh huh. No one really went missing, and it had nothing to do with the secret of the world. But the Nirvana trial is different. It's not just a game, it's real. What does that mean? There's something seriously messed up about it. Huh? You've seen it? No, I was too scared. But people are going missing, one after the other. Tama. Any information on these missing people? There are about 90,000 people who go missing in Japan each year. That means, on average, about 1,730 people go missing each week. That's very high, if you ask me. This week, there have been 1,880 missing persons reports filed. That's 150 more than the average, but I can't say whether that's related to the video or not. Is that a real statistic? That seems like a lot. Sorry. I need to go somewhere. Wait, we're not done here. You can keep the door unlocked. See ya. Uh, sorry if you see me turning. I'm just turning in my chair. I can't <laughs> believe it. He actually left. What kind of person goes out and leaves a stranger in his home? <sighs> Nothing we can do. Looks like we'll have to get moving too. Yeah, I'm swaying. I'm swaying and swinging. Why can't I go to the Harbor Warehouse District from the first game? I don't see Gen anywhere. No! He's probably at the restaurant after all. Oh, wait. Look, over there. That's... You know them? Oh, no. Not really. I've just seen them around before. Dressed kind of strangely, don't you think? It's a cosplayer. Maybe they're coming back from a cosplay event. That's what I said. Excuse me. Wait, is that the girl who Sorry, shot us at the start of the game? <laughs> Upside yeah. down face. Yeah, that's definitely the girl who shot uh, Mizuki. But I guess that hasn't happened yet. Why are you dressed like that? None of your business. Oh. You know me? <sighs> Who are you? I don't need to tell you anything. What's going on? What could he be plotting? Hmm. Nothing. You're beginning to annoy me. Would you please leave? Can't see her face. Can't see anything, really. Feminine posture. Disguised voice. Hmm. Annoy you? Fine. Then I will take my leave instead. You know, I'm clearly not supposed to figure out who it is. 
The data take action is approaching. And I must stop the plan. Stop what? There she goes. What was she talking about? I don't know. Cosplay ban, maybe? <laughs> I've never heard of a plan like that. Then maybe it's a family plan. Whatever the case, I think it's clear that that woman isn't all there. Let's forget about it. More importantly... And they're assuming it's a woman as well. On to the next place, huh? See, if we already found Shoma, then why would we still go to the department store? That's kind of weird. Ryuki, why did you come here? I thought Shoma might be here. I still need to ask him some questions. Oh, but it looks left, like he's not here. Looks like it. Hmm. Anyway, no point in staying here. Unless you're planning on doing a ritual to summon UFOs. Maybe another what? time. Let's go somewhere else. Just nothing happens here at all? Okay. Weird. Oh, it's, uh... Mame is here, too. Mame, right. I didn't forget her name. Why are you here? There's something I wanted to ask Gen. And what would that be? Hey, Sangwen. Well... Maybe she lost 50,000 yen on pachinko slot machines. I don't think underage people can use those. This isn't boss we're talking about. Well, it's better than having loose slots in other ways. What does that mean? What other way? No, you know. I don't think I do. No, I don't. Huh? I didn't get that one. It's all right now, because I am here! Half might! That reference is already getting dated. Hey, that's my thing. What? Well, it shouldn't be anyone's thing. I'm not sure why, but she seems to be a bit down today. I'm sure she'll be back to her usual self eventually. Please let her be for now. You know, it's weird to have this game uh, and then just... You know how a voice actor's job is generally to just like fade into the character? Sungwon is not doing that right now. Like I, I am just hearing Sungwon and no one else. <laughs> Gen, do you know a woman named Tokiko Shigure? Never heard that name before. Really? Yeah. Who is this Tokiko person? Is he just using his normal speaking voice? The president of an ideological society called Nizet Laws. Or Nize. Nize. You mean that secret society or whatever? <laughs> Not very secret if everyone knows about it. Yeah. It actually exists? I thought it was just an urban legend. I thought so too. So what's that got to do with the case? So I tried searching through Tokiko's memories using a certain device. While I was in there, I saw you. Is that just the info you can give out? I see. But I'm telling you, I don't know this person you're talking about. It could be someone else wearing the same mask. Oh, I guess so. That doesn't sound... It's also possible that Tokiko knows Gen, but not the other way around. Hmm. Oh, it just ran out of battery. You're watching too much porn. Why do you assume everything is about porn? Don't you have a softer way of saying that? You're watching too much porn. That's not what I meant. Is there anything you can tell me about the Nirvana Initiative? What is that? Is it some sort of plan? I think so. Sorry, I don't know what that is. Well, that was pointless. Hariyuki, there's something bothering me. Something is wrong with Amame. Yeah, there's no way that's a natural hair color. Yeah. She doesn't seem very energetic today. No, not that. Her heart rate jumped dramatically earlier. Oh? Was it when we mentioned Tokiko or the Nirvana Initiative? Right when she heard the words Tokiko and Nirvana Initiative. Well, I, I, 
I'm a fucking genius. What? Do you ever stick your hand out like that? Fuck. It's okay, it's okay. Everything will be fine. Thinking about her own mortality, maybe? I don't know. Time running out. Do you know something about the Nirvana Initiative? Do you know Tokiko? Nothing's happening. Hey, Gen. There's something I want to ask Mame. How do you think I can get her to talk to me? Mm, let's see. Amame likes trivia, so maybe if you frame your question like a quiz? A quiz? A quiz? Doesn't seem very effective if you can just do this, like, anytime you want. Hey, Mame. Like if, you, if, you, if you make that plan while she's in earshot, I don't think that's gonna work. The highest mountain in the world. The highest mountain in the world is Mount Everest. But, what is the second highest mountain? K2. I wasn't asking you. What is K2? A bat and a ball together cost 110 yen. The bat is 100 yen more expensive than the ball. So, how much does the ball cost? The Nirvana Initiative was a secret government plan to use three grunge kids to brainwash a bunch of youths in the early 1990s. It worked so well that their influence is felt to this day. Take care, Demily. Huh? What the hell are you talking about? The last man on Earth heard a knock on his door. Who was it? No good, huh? The answer was a woman. Why couldn't he just knock on his own door? Nope, that's wrong too. Oh? The answer is LGBTQ+. What? You're sorely mistaken if you think there are only men and women in this world, dumbass. Okay, that's a bit. What kind of pan can you not cook with? Why didn't they just say non-binary instead of laying them all out? The answer is simple. Can tease. Oh, come on. Uh, no response. I'm at a loss. Oh, I know. Maybe if you play that song. What song? One moment, please. The one I'll she danced to? No, wait, that was the other girl.
Okay, I like that song more than the other one so far, but why does every teenage Thanks, girl in this game have a musical number? I think I feel a bit better. That's good. Looks like Amame is back to her usual self. Yeah, alright. <coughs> Mizuki doesn't have one. Mizuki's in a teenager. She's like 12. Wait, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, she's 12. That's a preteen. <laughs> it's not a teenager. And in the future, she's 18, so that's not a teenager either. That's an adult. Or something. I don't know. I'm looking for excuses. Uh, did I say something like that before? Yeah, I think you did. I have fond memories of the warehouse district. I love going there and killing people. Wait, uh... I go there every morning and... You always stop by there after stocking up at the market, right? Do you go buy stock every morning? Yes, since I can't store meat or fish in the freezer. And the freezer in the back doesn't open anymore. Why not? I can't find the key. There's a dead body back there, isn't it? The freezer is locked? Yes, though I can still use the refrigerator, so I'm able to manage for now. Yes, I'm doing prep work for tonight. I can't make the dishes in advance, so I have to start from scratch every day. It's doing all right. I can only do what I can to make my customers happy. But you don't want Matsushita Diner to show you up, right? Of course not. Yeah, fuck that diner. Hey, Ganesha. It was nothing. Did you get jilted or something? What does jilted mean? No, I, I just lost fifty thousand yen on pachinko. It was really that. See, you can't be serious. <laughs> I was going through a very painful time of my life. It was so bad that I didn't even want to go on. Then, Genny played that song from earlier. You mean he wrote it? Um, well, yes. The title is The Flower That Blooms in Snow. He recorded it on a cassette and gave it to me as a present. Wasn't the flower that blooms in snow Iris? Yeah, the winter Iris. <laughs> that was a big focus of the last game. Is that... Is that a coincidence? It's a portable cassette player. Are you familiar with them? This is my first time seeing one in person. That's a Volkman, right? Never forgive the Japanese, but I do like my Volkman. I always have the cassette player on me with the tape inside. Wow, impressive. I didn't realize that not only are you a good cook, but you can write songs too. <laughs> uh, this is a bit embarrassing. I only know her name from the internet. I just love stories about the occult and conspiracy theories. Again, if if this is public info, like if people know her and know her organization, it's not really it's not really a conspiracy or a secret society. Like that's just a company with a known president. And when I looked up Nice, that name came up. Then what about the Nirvana initiative? It's not not a very secret society as far as it, mm. I read about that on the internet too. It was on an occult news site. Supposedly, there's some sort of sinister plan by that name. Mm -hmm. But that's all that was written about it. Really, I'm telling the truth. Trust me. You fucking kidding me? What year was this written? God damn it. Hmm. We didn't get leads despite all that time we spent here. Neither of them had any information on Tokiko. But if that's true, why was Gen in Tokiko Samyo? Anyway, we can figure that out later. Let's investigate somewhere else for now. Oh boy. 
park? By the park. Oh, hello. Why is the, the, the thing from Space Odyssey there? Ryuki, you look tired. Are you okay? After all that, we haven't made any progress at all. It takes a toll, knowing you've wasted your time on a case like this. Why don't you rest for a bit? I plan on it. That's why I came here. This place is always therapeutic for me. You say that about every park you go to. Hmm? Is that...? Leon. What's he doing here? Let's go find out. Le who's Leon? Oh, that guy. Oh, it's you. How'd your creepy confession go, dude? I was watching the sky. The sky? Looks normal to me. Yeah, like I told you. I've dreamed about being up in the sky since I was a little Alright, you want to be a pilot. Forgot about that. I always wanted to be a pirate. N no, no, the... Uh, mm. You mean pilot. Oh, this? It's Alfre. Non-alcoholic beer. I really love this drink. It was in that vending machine, so I got one. Did you guys hear that, or was that outside? I heard, like, a car speeding by? I like this park. It's quiet, peaceful, serene. I know the feeling. It's the perfect place to be left alone with your thoughts. I agree. But what were you thinking about? Oh, I just got a request from someone. I agreed to do it on the spot, but now I'm not sure if it was the right choice. A request? I've been wondering if I should have refused instead. What was the request? <laughs> Can't tell you that. It's confidential. Tell me, bitch. I read your brain. Well, I don't know the situation exactly, but I understand what you're asking. You want to get inside that facility and take a look around. Maybe there's something there. Though I didn't see anything last time I was there. Hmm? Oh well. I'll accept your request. So stop making that face, alright? Cheer up, please. Well, who was that? Facility. I don't know. By tonight, he must have met today. The night of the 12th, right? I would assume so. He did say he just got the request. Hmm. Who did it come from? I can't tell. Hmm. I mean, the list of people we know who anyway, know this guy is very short. I'll be going now. Looks like you've got a lot on your plate, but try not to overdo it. I mean, I keep picking the dialogue option that events the story. See ya. I want to see all the dialogue, damn it. Yeah. By the way, Ryuki, about the Nirvana trial. Now that you bring it up, we haven't watched the video yet. Wanna Woo! watch it? Yeah, <laughs> play it. What? I'm sorry. Can you please play it for me? Very well. Elephants? Face? Uh, upside down people? Falling? Elephants? Man robs ghost? Staircase, toilets. That's the same head from the QR video. Was that it? Okay. Uh, um, hey, Ryuki, are you okay? Is he... is he bugging out again? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh boy. Yeah, there it is. Uh... 
it's fine. See, that first happened when he saw the QR video, but not when he saw Bats 490. So something about, the, about those videos is messing him up in weird ways. What? It can't be. How? What? Why is it suddenly nighttime? Oh. Don't you know? The Earth rotates toward the east, so... What was I doing all this time? You've been standing there, like an NPC that froze up. Oh, boy. Hey, what happened? That's what I'd like to know. I watched that video and... Then I came to and now we're here. That is concerning. Uh, what time is it, Tama? 21.30. We can still make it. Could you please visit me at my office again at 10 o'clock tonight? This is bad. We need to hurry. <sighs> Dude, if I stood for three hours straight, I'd be my legs would break, man. I can't even stand for minutes at a time. I don't understand how people stand for long periods. My legs don't work. My disability doesn't come up often, but when it comes up, it comes up hard. Is she dead? Yeah, she's dead. Okay. 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 No. Okay. Okay. It can't be. Ah, this can't be happening. I'm out of a job again. You should talk to Mamoru before checking the body. When did you last see Tokyo? I think it was around 1400. The president got back from seeing the police, returned to this room, and I haven't seen her since. I'm not always in the president's office. I'm usually on standby in the room outside. I only come here when called. You didn't hear anything? Or... Tokiko has been in this room since 2 p.m.? She should have been, yeah. Has anyone entered or left the room? No one. Is it possible that someone was in there before 2 p.m.? Looking for entrances? No, it's, it's a totally closed off room. No. I'm sure you're already aware, but the security here is incredibly tight. There are security cameras all over the stairs and corridors, along with the elevator and outside the door. It's impossible to get in without getting noticed. Someone did it, clearly. Ryuki, I checked the data on the security cameras. It's true that no one entered this room other than Tokiko, and no one left it either. So what the hell happened in here? Of course not. Why not? Who'd put a security camera in their own room? I don't know, burglars. It's for burglars, right? Yeah, that door is the only way in or out. Man, this is a lot. The president informed me that you'd be here at 2200, so I let you through into this room. Then, her body. Anyway, I need to report to the people at Nyes. Very well. Damn, I didn't Please get the don't wink let him. anyone out of the building. Got it. Shit. See, I did. I didn't wink him this time because I thought that'd be the thing that progresses it. How but this, this time it wasn't. Ah. If, if I, I wish, wish to do so, so, I can resurrect myself. I'll go for it then, Tokiko. <laughs> One thing is for sure, Ryuki. Look around the room. No traces of blood. In other words. Tokiko wasn't killed here. But she never left, he said. The culprit must have been Terror. He killed Tokiko somewhere else, then brought her right half here. But how did he get in the room? We don't know how he left either. What if he's still in this room? No, that's not possible. I checked with X-ray vision. No sign of anyone and no biological responses detected. I mean, what if it's Mamoru? We only have his word that no one entered or left. Then he had to have escaped somehow. I suspect the culprit's escape route and way in were the same. So, Ryuki, let's look into finding the escape route first. We should know how the culprit got in once we learn how they got out. Okay, let's investigate. Well, that water is to be coming from somewhere. Oh. 
Before we right. begin, I want to point something out. The side with the window is the south. And the waterfall is to the north. Yeah, I know that. Why are you mentioning it? Shut your mouth! It'd be a pain in the ass if we didn't know which way was which. You should be grateful I told you! Okay, jeez. Okay. Why are you angry? Just zip it and get working, alright? I miss Iba. I like Iba better. Okay, there are a lot of things to interact with. Oh boy. Whoa! Plant. The room is inorganic as a whole, so this really stands out. See, in the dream, the thing on the back opened up. No? Right, heat vision. Looks like the wall behind this waterfall is made of tungsten. It's a material that blocks x-rays. Hmm. So I'm not able to see anything beyond that wall. Convenient. What's this? this? There's an arrow under the symbol. And seven squares, too. If you detected it with thermal mode, does that mean it's emitting heat? It must have a heating wire or something embedded in it. <gasps> seven arrows and squares. Seven buttons that need pushing? Or... What are those wires about? Oh, the statues again, like in the dream. But this one's pointing at the wrong spot. And there's no statue here. Okay, no, they're not looking at, at the other statue. Maybe if I turn them a bit? There's something coming out of it. It's an infrared laser. Normally, it wouldn't be visible, even with thermal mode. But this place is full of water particles. The light hits the water particles and disperses, making it visible to the human eye. This room must be so fucking human in this summer. Goddamn. The light is shining toward the northeast. It's crossing the pond in a diagonal line. Sure is. An infrared laser is coming out of the statue, too. It's crossing with that other beam. Does it matter where it crosses? This one's shooting toward the southeast. Hmm. Oh, I should probably check the corpse at some point. <laughs> it's Tokiko's right half. Just like before, it's been severed at the molecular level. The body appears to have been cut with the same instrument. And she was also bisected while she was still alive. How do you know that? In other words, it's highly likely that it was the same killer. Yes. That's why I said Terror is probably the culprit. The estimated time of death is approximately three hours ago, which would be around 1900 today. That's when we were at Yoyagi Park. Is that... That's during his blackout, isn't it? It's not great. <laughs> As I mentioned before, there are no traces of blood in the room. Not on this desk, the walls, or the floor. Terror killed Tokiko somewhere else, then brought the right half of her body to this room. But how? Mm hmm. Looks like the statue is made of iron. Why? This statue is iron, too. There's something embedded in the wall. Is that a phone? It's a keypad for a pin code. Oh. But this frame is on there tight. It won't budge. Maybe there's some way to move it. Or 
There's something in the floor. Maybe it's a rail? It's embedded in the floor. A statue can move to hit the infrared laser. This is probably an electromagnetic rail. It extends from the corner of the statue toward the pond. Got it. The statue moves, the floor is ruined. <laughs> The same kind of it's even yeah that's so. a hidden pass probably not something in the desk room Wait, hello what's this they are metal plates shaped like numbers embedded in the board at the front of the desk so you're able to see them by using x-ray like this it's as if this was prepared just for us who would do something like this Anyway, we can figure that out later. Let's focus on the investigation. 16 numbers. I don't see a pattern. It's not multiplication. Four on one side, five on the other. That four and five are the odd ones out, or at least symmetrical. Hmm... There's a mark left inside the corpse. Sorry. Hmm. Is this? What is it? Inside Tokiko's womb. There are traces of her having given birth. Like recently? What? Though it wasn't recently. Not recently. It has to have been more than 20 years ago. 20 years? Who do we know is our 20? Ryuki's over 20. Would that be horrible? <laughs> Lian is over 20 as well. He does wear purple. <laughs> Ota? We know what Ota's mother is. Shinpei? No. Hmm. Look at her file again. Where is she? It would have been 33. Not much of a resemblance. We know who his parents are, don't we? Yeah. Tokiko has a grown child? Yes, but there are no records of this anywhere in her family register. She hasn't filed birth registration, and there aren't any records of it in any medical institutions in Japan. Hmm. This is a weird thing to investigate, by the way, Tama. Like, that's... Is that relevant? <laughs> Alright, looks like we've investigated what we could for now. Now, let's get to solving the mystery. How did the culprit get out of the room? That's what you're talking about, right? Yes. So, let's begin. My guess is... The first thing that comes to mind is that rail under yeah, the Yeah, you, you definitely move the statues, so hit the infrared laser and then something happens. Probably something with that keypad. And the numbers on the desk probably are show the code in some way. The electromagnetic rail. The rail leads from the statue toward the pond. Yeah. Do you think the statue moves along the rail? Yeah. It's made of iron. So maybe it's pulled with an electromagnet. Yeah, that's what I assumed. It's probably operated with a remote control or something. But I didn't find anything like that. Then, please... Use the force. Yes. We have no other choice. So, Oh, he, he right meant it. forcing it. <laughs> Wait! Don't actually move it until we're shooting. What do you mean? I mean when we actually record this with the camera and complete the film. Why are you like this? Quiet! I'm the director, so you follow my instructions or I'll fire you. I still think it's weird that Tiny Tama has boobs.
This statue is the same as the one we saw earlier. The underground rail leads toward the pond. Which means... Well, there's not much else we can do. So, let's get right to it. You little shit! Oh, right. We were still in rehearsal. I'm not supposed to move it until the shoot. Yes, we don't want this important set to get damaged, right? This is a set? This is stupid. There was an input device behind us. You already know the numbers to enter, right? Hmm. Even if I did, I would need to be able to move the frame. We don't know the numbers. Maybe no numbers on the on the thing, but was it in the order already? That's not what I asked. Do you know the code or not? In fact, I need you to know the answer. If you can't even solve this, you don't deserve to call yourself a member of Abyss. So, can you tell me the numbers? It's probably the numbers on the desk, right? It should be seven digits. Seven digits? What? Huh? I don't remember a number at all. What? You're telling me you don't know? No, that's not what I meant. Then spit it out already. I don't, I don't know it. I don't know it. Well, you quit screwing around. What the? Do I have like a, a log or? Something in here. What's the point of all that stuff? I can't look at the notes. What the fuck code is it talking about? Oh. I'm sorry, did I see that right? You have the Okay, okay. okay. Excuse me one moment. Excuse me one moment here. This is very important. What? But it said I unlocked something. Oh man. What the hell? I don't get it. Um... You saw the non X symbol using thermal mode, didn't you? Yeah. And... There were 16 numbers arranged in a diamond shape. You should be able to use those numbers to figure out the answer. What? Oh. Oh! Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on a moment. Uh, four, six, four, 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 six, five. Now, try again. No? I thought if I, if I, I thought if I, if I, if I combine the numbers that are like under each other, maybe it would. Am I missing something? Uh, 
Does it want me to multiply the numbers? Maybe it wants me to multiply it. So, one... Yeah, like, there are X's there, so if I... Hang on, no, don't, don't tell me. Hang on. Hang on, shut up. So, it's from top to bottom, it's one. Two times two is four. Three times one is three, times three is nine. Uh, four times zero is zero. Zero times five is still zero. I guess that's just zero. Three times one times three is nine again. Two times two is four, and that's one. One four nine oh one four nine. Okay. Uh, one four nine oh nine four one. No. What the fuck? I was sure that was it. What am I missing? What do the boxes mean? Is it multiplying them from top to bottom? So like that'd be four, nine, zero, one, uh, one, four, nine, five. Four, nine, zero, one, four, nine, five. No? What am I missing? I didn't multiply right? What? Oh, that's supposed to be a zero, not a four. Four, nine, zero, one, zero, nine, five. Yep, good job! That's probably the answer. Dude, it was like the fourth answer I came to. You fucking asshole. That's not obvious at all. Probably. I mean, it's not like I actually checked. I don't know whether those numbers are correct or not. Yeah, me neither. What the fuck? What the hell? Jesus. That one's obtuse as fuck. Okay, the rehearsal is now over. How did I put what the hell, man? It's time to start. All right. Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to start filming. Ryuki, you're going to play the fleeing culprit this time. The one who placed the right half of Tokiko's severed body here. You just finished a big job. You need to get out of here fast. But if you leave the conventional way, you'll be spotted by the surveillance camera. Oh no! Same thing for when you enter too. Yeah. The culprit used some special method to get in and out of the room. Just, now, can we just do it? I want you to consider the situation, and whatever you might be feeling, use it for your performance. I want Aiba back. Hey, is it really necessary to act? Shut up! Okay, here we go. I don't like Tama very much. Ready? Action! I'm the one who killed Whatever. him. Terrible. Give me a. Break. Okay. Well, there's that. Pull the cult. Okay, push that. I'm just skipping the dialogue I find annoying right now. <laughs> push that so it lands up with the infrared laser. Oh. Something happened. It's because it touched the infrared laser from the Southwest statue. Okay. So the statue was moved so it would hit the laser. Yeah, I figured that out already. What did the culprit do next? He must have also moved this statue with a remote. Okay. Um, the statue begins moving via the electromagnets. The culprit grins maniacally, his plan in motion. Stop! Hmm? Can you not read the stage directions out loud? You're supposed to play the part of the culprit. But what's the point of... Don't talk back to the director! Don't make me throw 
throw a fucking ashtray at you. Oh no! I need to hurry, or someone's gonna see me! This hurry, is so hurry. fucking annoying right now. Where we show the screaming of the culprit's tortured heart in monologue. When can I play as Mi Miz Miyuki again? Mizuki? And, and like have Aiba instead? Is it Miyuki or Mizuki? I keep forgetting her name. Alright. This statue reacted to the laser too. Mizuki. Okay. Let's see. So I just. Four nine zero one zero nine five. There. I knew it was the waterfall. See, this seems like the kind of thing the head of security should know about. Look, a hidden door. It's more than a hidden door. It's an elevator. How do you know that? See? There's a button pointing down next to the door. I can't see that from here, actually. No, I can. This is the highest floor of the building. It looks like this elevator is only for going down. Let's try pushing it. I mean, it's for going up, too, just not when you start here. Now we know Terror's escape route. And the way he got in. Terror used this elevator to bring Tokiko's right half into the room. And he must have used the same method to get out. The statue and Nanyapal X symbol must have been set up to return to their original positions automatically. Anyway. Let's go down there. Okay. What is this place? This is Ryuki's dream from the future. This it is where looks the looks like we tunneled to the other side of the world. It's where the ceiling fell. You mean we're underground? Yeah, more than 160 feet deep. Something happened here that Adam's still thinking about it six years later. Radio waves are completely cut off due to the depth. We can't connect to the network, so keep that in mind. Here's the torches. Estimate the depth by calculating the acceleration of time spent at the elevator. Thanks, Tama. Anyway, let's start looking around. Maybe we'll find some sort of clue. What's this? It's mechanical. Microscope? Some sort of device, maybe? Can't you analyze it? Well, from here, no. At the very least, it doesn't seem to be explosives or poison gas. You mean it's safe to open? Probably. This is kind of creepy. Maybe it's a pedestal for performing some sort of ritual. Like offering a sacrifice. It's not an ironing board, that's for sure. Tokiko. She said Nyes isn't a religious group, but this is clearly... It's definitely got some cold vibes going on. I do like her voice going on. What's that back there? A nice symbol here, too. The Nanyable X. It's a box. Okay, well, let me interact with it then. Is there anything else? Inter ra ra razor. No? Sand? Sand is coming down from above. Looks like the ceiling has degraded. I hope it doesn't come down on us. Oh, yeah, that'd be crazy. You'd have like a traumatic memory of that for six years. Oh, 
That's like after shadowing. Don't tell me you're going to open it. After shave. After shave for your shadow. Your after dark shadow. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't. Why not? Um, well, just a hunch. It should be fine. You said it's safe to open. I did add probably. Still, we can't just not check it. You can't get the treasure unless you lay the dragon, huh? Slay? There is so much wrong with that statement. But yes, that's the idea. What is this, Shrek? Huh. I like the color. Hmm? What was that sound? Ryuki, a biological signal has been detected. They're somewhere close. What? What the? That's a sink person. What? Why do you look like that? What do you mean? Anyway, um... Uh... Hey! Freeze! What is this? I can tell you, man, all that sinking does stuff to your head. Shoot him in the butt. Ryuki, the torch? coming down from above! Ah. Fucking ballerina over here. Hey, I said stop. Oh, no. What? I apologize for yesterday! What happened? Ryuki, we wouldn't need police if an apology solved everything. <laughs> Good point. <sighs> I know you're doing your best on this investigation. Nevertheless, your screw-up yesterday really cost us. What happened? The investigation hasn't been proceeding like we hoped. I'll make up for it! Please, give me another chance. <sighs> this reminds me of something. My yes. daughter's been begging me not to decrease her allowance when she gets bad grades. Your daughter? I'm still not used to hearing that. Oh? Well, I guess it's true that I don't give off a maternal image. I haven't done anything motherly at all, really. My daughter just turned 18 last year, but she pretty much grew up all on her own. So it's not Mizuki she's talking about. 18? She's older than I thought. <laughs> you wouldn't think it looking at this figure, huh? She's a grown woman now. She's capable of handling her business. Unlike a certain someone who gets overeager and screws up big time. <sighs> I thought you were a bit more capable than this, Ryuki. Is it, did her boob wiggle when she put her arm down? Oh, oh yeah, it's... Yeah, it's... <laughs> I mean, I got chewed out by my higher-ups, too. After work tonight, I'm going to my favorite host club and popping every champagne bottle in there. Okay. Nothing other than what you already know. Oh, right, there is some news about the case. It has an official name now. The Half-Body Serial Killings. Checks out. But 
That's pretty long, so we've just been calling it the HB case. The HB case. Now you know how the media is. You don't solve this quick and they might end up calling you the half-brain investigator. So you'd better start getting things done, Ryuki. It's all right now, because I am here! Half might! What's wrong with you, dude? Excuse me? What I'm trying to say is, I'm motivated, so please let me stay on this case. I'll solve this case no matter what it takes. That's what I'm worried about, man. In fact, I'm the only one who can. Why is that? <sighs> Look, you realize it was that kind of gung-ho attitude that led you to making that mistake yesterday, right? Dude, what happened? They're not telling me what happened. I understand you want to distinguish yourself, but you're biting off more than you can chew. But I can't just stop now. I should be able to handle this better than anyone. Ryuki, boss is right. You're getting too impatient. Your life isn't over because of one little slip up. More importantly, you need to accept your faults and learn from mistakes. I understand your enthusiasm, Ryuki. So, I'm giving you a chance to redeem yourself. I want you to continue investigating this case. Th thank you! But I need you to follow orders from above. Orders from above? What do you mean? It's official. Kuruto Ryuki, you're being demoted to a police officer. Oh boy. What? This is for yesterday's fiasco. Wait, you mean like a normal cop? That's terrible! That's way too hard! I fucking hate <laughs> However... I'll give you three days. If you can resolve the case within that time, I'll take back your punishment and you won't be demoted. Three days? Ryuki, we should look at this in a positive light. We can continue the investigation, and if we can solve it in three days, you can avoid demotion. It's impossible. We barely made any progress. How can I solve the case in three days? I don't know, Ace three does it all the time. Ryuki. Demoted? Me? I'd rather be a bum on the street than a disgraced cop. Ryuki! Oh, and the communication system still hasn't been fixed. So any data Tama obtains can't be uploaded to the cloud yet. How convenient. So just like I said before, Tama's data will be lost if her body is damaged. Be careful. You seem completely out of it. Ryuki... This is going well. Are you okay, Ryuki? What the fuck happened, man? That just cut away. Yeah. I think the scenery helped me calm down a bit. But to think... Demoted. Me. You still have three days. If you can solve the case by then... It's impossible. I can't believe I was told this today. Of all days. Hmm. What's interesting to me is that we're three somniums in without a timeline split so far. I mean, there's one here, but we couldn't access it. So that's interesting. Today was the day I lost my other half. What? I had a younger twin brother. Oh. He had a strong sense of justice. Wait, how is he a younger brother if he's your twin? <laughs> I mean... Twin means you were born on the same day, right? Whenever he saw evil, he would stand up to it, face it head on, no matter what. Five minutes older? That's Dude, what? Is it? Come was. on. We're basically the same age then. His dream was to become a detective and help bring all the dangerous criminals in Japan to justice. My brother and I were really close. Yeah, that's stupid. We hung out all the time. It was like he was another me. But on that day, six years ago. Oh, six years ago again? My brother and I were in the city and we happened to see a wanted criminal. I called the police right away, but the culprit tried to flee on a big trailer truck. He was about to get away. 
So my brother tried to stop him, and he ended up in front of it, and he got run over. He got isekai <laughs> Crushed half his body. This is the watch he was wearing. He's in some adventure world right now. <laughs> his time has been frozen since, and I lost my other half. My brother died six years ago, on February 13th. Today was the day. But I guess there's no point in me telling you all this. You already know my entire history. Yeah, it's fine. He's fighting the Demon King. Don't worry about him. I hate the criminal that killed my brother. I wish I could catch him and rip him to pieces. Yeah, that's the kind of attitude a police officer should have. And not just him. I hate them all. All the evil in this world. I hate it all. All right, Punisher. <laughs> Take a chill pill. Um, are you really going to give up now? If you give up, the evil wins. Miyuki, isn't there something you should be doing for your brother? Think about it. Fucking bitches. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Tama. Thanks for reminding me of my promise to him. I'll become a hero of justice. Okay. That's why I decided to carry on his dream and be a police officer. Pretty lame dream. If I fall into the bottom, I just need to crawl my way back up. I can't let it get to me now. The reason I became a sinker at Abyss was so I could encounter the more vicious criminals. The foul, immoral kind that evade the law. As opposed to the normal kind of criminals that follow the law perfectly. What are you talking about? Sinkers dig deep into their hearts and make them pay. That's my idea of a hero. I lost something of mine in order to become a sinker. You're crazy. One of my eyes. I had to extract my eye to become a sinker. So you could transplant an AI ball. Me. The surgery was last summer. Right after I was assigned to Abyss. Yes, so you and I have known each other for about half a year now. We both know this, so why are we talking about it? I've lost many things along the way. But thanks to you going into my left eye, I feel like a lot of that emptiness has been filled. Yuki. Tama, as long as you're with me, I can keep going. No. I have to keep going. You think of something metaphorical in how Tama only has one visible eye, and that's the eye that corresponds with Ryuki's red eye? For my brother, Ugh. I'm going to catch the HB killer. Yeah. Okay. okay. Then it's time to pull myself together and get back to the investigation. So, got any new intel? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you have any new information for me, please, ma'am? Yes, I do. I looked into Chikara Horidori some more and came across something fishy. Dude, everything about that guy was fishy. Also, I found something interesting about Shoma. Oh? The location indicated in the hidden message in Bats 490 was a research institute. That's what Shoma said, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it actually wasn't Horidori Institute. What? I read through a ton of speculation threads online, and none of them mentioned Horidori Institute. Did he lie to us? Then where was it, really? I don't know. All I know for sure is it wasn't Horidori Institute. But Hor but Shomo's the one who led us to Horidori, and Horidori's what led us to Nizatlos. But if that's not a real connection... Then that means Shoma lied. I have to talk to him. But then how did... Where's Shoma now? I don't know. It looks like he turned his smartphone off. They did off. say Nice made Bats 490. And and Chikara knew about Bats 490, but Bats 490 didn't actually lead to the research that they did? That's weird. But we do have a lead. Remember what Komeiji said? No. Yes, yes. he really he loves, loves this Ferris, Ferris wheel, too. too. Why is that a permanent flashback we keep having? He's almost in middle school, and he still comes here by himself all the time. Ferris wheel? The one on the rooftop amusement park at Misaton. Chikara was doing some dubious research in the past. As opposed to a totally legit, above board, not at all dubious research he does now. His current research is pretty dubious too. See? <laughs> Rewriting DNA to achieve immortality. It was even more questionable than that. Rumors say there were even human experiments involved. Oh? Human experiments? You mean like cloning? <laughs> anyway, word moves fast, and the research institute was temporarily shut down. This happened nine years ago. 
During that time, Chikara went missing for a bit to avoid being investigated. But what about the current institute? It was reopened after things had settled down. Of course, that required a massive amount of funds. Ooh. Which was provided by... No, is it Laos? Richie Chieda. Oh, who's that? He's an Chieda's father. Whoa, whoa. Okay. That's a weird connection. Richie Chieda is an extremely <laughs> wealthy investor. Look at that guy. He's rich enough to be on the list of the world's most wealthy people. He's involved in a wide range of business ventures and holds many different titles. This is like a straight Freddie Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> Investor, philanthropist, the founder of the Chieda Foundation, a university professor emeritus, a national goodwill ambassador. And after all that, he also became the chairman of a social welfare corporation, Iowan. Iowan? Iowan? It's Iowan? an orphanage. Oh. Seems that's where he is now. Wait, before we go, you have a call from Iris. Iris? Oh, Ryuki? Do, they barely know each other, don't they? There's something I wanted to tell you about the case. Okay. What is it? Well, I'm sorry. Recording is about to start, so I can't really get into it right now. Then why did you call? Would you be able to visit Lemnusgate later? Yeah, whatever. Lemnusgate, the talent agency Iris belongs to. We knew that. The building also has a small recording studio. All right. I'll see you there later. Okay, thank you. <sighs> Our destinations are decided for now, but... Nyoen, Nisatan, and the third is Lemnusgate. There's one more place I'd like to go. Marble in Golden Yokocho. Oh? Ah, Mama the Informant. Think you're following Rat? Does she dress differently, or is that just me? You suspect she might know something. That's right. Then let's get going. Yeah, let's go. Well... Um... Mm. I'd love to, but honestly I'm really tired. <laughs> so excuse me, but I'm gonna end it here for tonight. Um... I'll stream again tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central European Time, which is noon in Central Standard Time. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Hope to see you again very soon. I'm gonna see if I can raid someone. Let's see here. Mm. I'll raid Berry Bug. He's just talking, looks like. Works for me. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I hope I get better sleep tonight. I haven't been sleeping very well. Thank you very much. Bye bye if you win. Bye bye.